There are two ways to add new records to your database or API in Retool, through a table or through a form. The specifics of your query will depend on what kind of resource you're using, but the method is the same, and for this example, we'll be using Postgres. Adding a record via a table. Here's an already populated table. The get users query pulls users from the database, and the users table displays that data with get users dot data in curly braces. Retool lets you add a record right in the table. You'll just need to configure two queries to get it working, a bulk update query and an add record query. The bulk update query lets you edit and update cell values directly, while the add record query tells the table how to add a new record to the underlying database. Start with the bulk update query. In the bottom panel, click New, and create a new query named bulk update. Select the editable database or API you want to use. Choose the table Users, and the action type bulk update via primary key. Select which column should be used as the primary key, in this case, the ID, and for array of records to update, use the dot record updates property, which evaluates to a full record containing any new values typed into the table, as well as any unedited values. Remember that in Retool, anything in curly braces evaluates to JavaScript. Have the get users query trigger on success and click save. Columns and tables are not by default editable, so to do that, toggle the Make Editable switch for each of the columns you want to be editable. Keep in mind that this alone won't make them actually editable. You'll still need to connect your query to take care of the work on the back end. To do that, scroll down further and select the newly created Bulk Update Query under the dropdown Bulk Update Action. After that, you can click on Individual Cells and type in new values. Here's what the record updates property looks like, which will be passed to the bulk update query when we save changes. Click Save Changes to update the values in your database. Now that you can edit the records in the table using the bulk update query, you can create the add record query to be able to add a new record to the underlying database via the table. In the bottom panel, create a new query and name it add record. Select the editable database or API you want to use, choose the users table, and set the action type to insert a record. The UI will update and show you a form field set called the change set. This is where you'll reference the new data that you want to insert. Choose each column from the dropdown options and use JavaScript to reference the data that you want to insert through a property of users table dot new row. For example, to reference the new email data, use users table dot new row dot email in curly braces, or to reference the new first name data, use users table dot new row dot first name in curly braces. You'll need to populate the change set with all of these values for the query to work correctly. Be sure to have the get users query trigger on success and remember to click Save after you've written the query. After entering the change set, you can change the column types to make data input more user-friendly, such as by choosing other formats, like a dropdown, or data types, like a number. After that, go to the bottom of the inspector to select the newly created Add Record Query under the dropdown On Row Add. This connects the add record query you just wrote with the table so that they can work together. A little plus icon will appear in the bottom right corner of your table, which you can now click on to add a new record via the table. If you specify types for your columns in the table settings, those will carry over to these new cells. Wait a few moments, and the new record you just created will appear right in the table. Adding a record via a form component. Retool currently supports two types of form components. The form component, which is just a container with a submit button for subcomponents like inputs or dropdowns, and a JSON schema form component, which is a full form edited via JSON that can auto-generate based on your database schema. Adding a record via a form component provides more flexibility with layout and input types, and is useful if you're not using a table or if you have more complex needs. Start by dragging a form component onto the canvas, and naming it Add Record Form. 
Also add a text input component in the form called email input. And update the label to email. You can add whatever inputs you want to the form, text inputs, dropdowns, multi-selects, etc. But here's an example that makes it easy for someone to understand what the form is for and how to enter data. Now that your form is all set up, it's time to hook it up to a query that will grab the form data and insert it into your users table. Start by creating a new query called add record from form. Select the editable database or API that you want to use. Choose your desired table from the dropdown, in this case the users table. And for action type, choose insert a record. Next, populate the change set with references to all of the fields in the form using each input's dot value property in curly braces. When you're working with this many inputs, it's important to name them well for easy referencing later on. You can change a component's name by clicking on the component and then the name at the top of the right sidebar. For example, we've labeled our email input as email input instead of text input. Finish populating the change set with all of the columns and the values of the text inputs in the form. Be sure to have the get users query trigger on success and then click Save. The last step is to connect this query to your form. Click on the form component to open the inspector in the right panel, and select the Add Record From Form query under the On Form Submit dropdown. Using the inspector, you can also configure the form component to clear inputs after submission, show a loading indicator, enable scrolling, or do a lot of other handy stuff. Try filling in the form and clicking the Submit button to check that everything is configured properly. You might run into a data type or formatting error the first time around, but keep at it. Here's the new record created after the form has submitted successfully. Adding a record via JSON schema form component. The JSON schema form component is a better fit when you have a lot of columns, since it auto-generates from your database schema. Drag a JSON schema form component to the canvas, which will initially populate with hard-coded sample inputs. Next. Click Generate Schema from a Database, and choose the Resource and Table, in this case, the Editable Postgres Database, and the Users Table. Here's what that new JSON schema form looks like. After creating the form, you need to create a query to run upon form submit. In the bottom panel, create a new Add Record From JSON Form query, and select the Editable Database or API you want to use. Select the Users table, set the action type to Insert a Record, and add each of the form fields to the change set. Be sure to have the Get Users query trigger on Success, and then click Save. In the right panel, under the option On Form Submit, select the Add Record From JSON Form query you just created. Now, you can easily add a new user. Note that if you'd like to, you can change the input types for the JSON schema form with a type parameter in the right panel under JSON Schema. Here's a new record that was just added through the form. Adding a record via other data sources. If you're using something other than Postgres or another SQL database, the front-end steps to add a record to your database are the same, but the specific queries you write will need to change. For example, if you're using MongoDB, your onRowAdd query will use the insert1 operation, and if you're adding a user to Firebase, you'll use the create a user action. As always, if you run into any issues, just post in the community at community.retool.com or reach out to our support team through the intercom widget in the bottom right.